What's up guys, Neil here, back with an Android feature review. So if you watched or heard about the news from the Apple event this week, uh, specifically related to the iPhone X, you might have noticed that they did away with the uh, home button and they're favoring it in uh, favor of uh, facial recognition to unlock your device and swipe gestures to uh, navigate around the device. So if you're a control center, uh, recents menu um, and various other features. So I figured I'd do a review on um, doing a similar sort of navigation on your Android device, regardless of if you have on-screen home button or on-screen buttons to navigate around, namely home, back, and recents, or if you have capacitive touch buttons on your device or basically your hardware buttons to do the same thing. Um, on Android, you can do a number of these things basically in a, it's a very simple and easy way, and it's by installing a custom launcher. So in this review, I'm going to use or show um, these gestures using Novo Launcher and Action Launcher, my uh, two preferred launchers of choice, um, and they are up there as far as uh, notable um, hot, good quality, high quality actually, uh, launchers for Android. Um, there are others available like Apex Launcher, ADW Launcher, and a number of other ones out there. But, uh, for me, these are the two that have been remained consistently, um, up there as just launchers that I like to use. So in this case, what, what I'm using at the moment or what you see on my screen is, um, Action Launcher, or sorry, Nova Launcher. I am on the latest beta build, so Nova Launcher Prime, because I do have the, uh, I did purchase the um, unlock key for some of the additional features, and I'm on, um, uh, I guess, actually I'm on beta 1, and beta 2 is av also available, but when you go into the settings menu, you'll see a setting, or a section for gestures and inputs, so when you go to this setting, um, you'll see, for, for example, if you have the home button, you can adjust what that does, so I have my home button set to open the app drawer, so I don't have to have a dedicated button, so if you look on my home screen, I don't actually have the little dot icon thing for the, um, app drawer so if I push my home button it's going to open my app drawer just like that if I push the back button which you can't see but when I do that it closes the app drawer um, so when I go there I can um, have it do anything I want so if I want my home button to open Google Now, App Search, toggle the dock, jump to a specific page. If I have multiple pages, I can do that. I can have it open a, a specific app that's available on, uh, it's available as installed app. Or I can launch a specific shortcut. So if I want directions, I open a specific Gmail label, um, have a specific Nova Launcher itself action, then I can do that as well. So it has a bunch of um, even specific home button specific actions. Um, and then I have it set to work on the de my default page, but I only have one page um, set up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But when you uh, scroll up a little bit on the gestures and input settings page, you'll see that there's various other options you can you have. So for example, when I swipe up, I have it set to do search. You swipe down anywhere on the screen will open my notifications. So on my uh, OnePlus 3T, I don't have to have my finger go all the way to the top of the screen. Um, I can uh, sl start sliding down anywhere from on my screen. So um, like just like that, it'll open and I'll let it go back up. Um, same thing with um, swiping up. So what I can do is um, swipe up and it'll launch a... Um, launches the search menu in Google now and I can do a search for anything I want so if I want to search for the iPhone um, or not iPhone smiley face but I can search for iPhone X and I can automatically launch so it gives me the specs and whatever uh, information I want to look up there um, I also can do you can also do things like double tapping to lock your screen which I do have set up you have double tap to swipe double tap swipe up uh, swiping up and down with two fingers so you can have various actions going on there. So there's all sorts of actions. So um, that's kind of the feature that you get in or the I, Apple release on the iPhone X, but something that's already available and has been available for some time on the Android side. So if it's something you like, there are ways to do that sort of navigation as well. And um, I just have basic navigation set up for myself. Um, but if there's other things you want, so for example, um, let's say every time I double tap on my screen, I want to... Uh, I don't know, let's say I want to go to the shortcut and I want to, um, 
open something in settings like let's say I want to open my uh, battery um, information by double tapping on my screen so now that it's set I have um, I will automatically launch that so I don't even have to swipe down and touch my battery I get the battery percentage how much time's left and what's been using my battery so it's um, easily accessible there so pretty nifty thing um, and all that really all of the gestures and inputs really requires having that additional thing there for you to do so um, as you can see there's many enough to customize there so it's, you're not set to one specific action you can set it uh, to whatever you want um, so with that I'll jump on over to the um, action launcher side so for action launcher um, I'm also on the or this one I'm on the latest uh, beta version here so version 28 beta 7 and um, in the settings menu for action launcher you have um, a uh, similar thing but in this so you'll long press on your home screen you'll go to sh instead of gestures and inputs you're gonna go to shortcuts and when you go to shortcuts you have the same thing here but a little bit different uh layout but you do get most of the same features so single tapping your, your home button so i have the same thing single tapping my home button to launch all apps but you can also do a uh, double tap um to um, get access to basically the same style or similar entries as Nova Launcher, the notable exception being locking your device. But so you can also launch an app, launch shortcuts, but it also offers a double tap and triple tap feature. Um, you can double tap or triple tap on an empty space on your home screen to do various things. Um, the one thing that's good about Action Launcher is that you can um, set a shortcut for launching a weather search. So if that's something you check all the time and don't want an extra weather app, then you can do that as well. And then you have the usual swipe down, swipe up, and then um, swipe, swiping horizontally. So you can do things like that. So if you have the quick page enabled, you can do that. Or um, if you want to um, swipe left or right to do launch an app or a shortcut, then that is also an option so that's really all there is for that so um if you have any questions comments or anything like that you can always reach me on twitter at patel n01 and i can help answer any questions but um and these are just two launchers that are available in the google play store both do have free and pro versions available so if you want to try them out before you buy them you can do that and use them as your regular daily drivers um and then set up set them up as your uh primary home screen rather than whatever your stock um devices lay um launcher may be so that's all there is for that um if you um, otherwise, if you want to find more reviews, you can find me on YouTube, youtube.com slash PatelN01. The website is PatelN01.com to subscribe, support the show, and all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, if, I, if you have any questions, you can find me on um, Twitter at PatelN01. And then um, there are active communities for Nova Launcher and Action Launcher available on Google+. Plus. So if you have question, uh, uh, further questions or um, wanna or not sure why something's working um, the way you expected and there's also good resources there and more people who have uh, played with both launchers as well so that's all there is for that so thanks for watching and listening and until next time <laughs>